My name is Corey Weens. Um, I'm from Jefferson City, Missouri. I'm an education major with a minor in intercultural studies. My entire upbringing, you know, I was raised in raised in a Baptist church. You know, we were, we were pretty content in life all the way up until my freshman year of high school. My grandfather on my dad's side, he passed away, and he was a big hero of mine. So I felt like my, my world was just like ending almost. My parents also started fighting pretty bad, and then I got word that they were gonna get a divorce, and once that came to the surface, I um, ended up picking up drugs and uh, alcohol. I got involved in some small town uh, gang affiliation where you know we sold drugs, we um, beat people up, we robbed people, we got in uh, car chases, police chases. So I turned my back on God and ran from Him. Me and my uh, best friend, we had gotten a call from one of our uh, lady friends. There was a guy there who was trying to pretty much rape her, sexually abuse her. We bust in there and we start screaming, where is he, where is he? And he sees us and he runs back in the bedroom and he shuts the door. So we run to the door, but I turn the knob and I open the door. The guy on the other side hits my thumb with a hatchet. We luckily made it to the hospital just in time. They had me bandaged up, and I remember that the nurse, for some reason, she couldn't. She said she couldn't put the IVs anywhere in my arms due to the fact that my hands were really messed up, so she needed to IV me in the foot. And I have my right arm stretched out like this, and my left arm stretched out this way. And I remember crying out to God because, you know, this picture was the way Jesus was posted up on the cross. And that just came, that just flooded me with emotion. I just remember saying, God, I am so sorry for running from you for this long. Because I knew that in order to get through this, in order to get out of this dark hole I had dug myself in, that the only thing that could get me out was the light of Jesus Christ. So I'm asking God, um, send me anywhere, I'll go anywhere you want, just don't send me back to Springfield. And through this excruciating pain, all of a sudden, this humor and laughter came over me. And I just started crying and I knew, God was like, if you wanna get your mind, if you wanna get your life right, you need to go to Evangel. That's where you're gonna become the godly man that I have always wanted you and needed you to be. So I was like, all right, God, well, you know how poor we are, but if you, if you want me to go to Evangel, you paved the way, you paved the financial way. Not even two minutes after I had said this out loud, I got a call from Evangel, and, and they found they found scholarships that fit exactly for me that would get me here. My name is Corey Weens, and I was baptized when I was young, but I strayed away, and I just want the world to know that I've come home, and Jesus is my Lord, He's my salvation. <laughs> Everything about Evangel has honestly been good for me. The professors are so personal. And a lot of these professors, they could have a million assignments to grade, but you come in there saying, I need you, and they're gonna drop all that, and they're gonna help you in any way they can. One of my most favorite memories, and it was worship on the lawn night. And I just remember feeling the overwhelming presence of the Holy Spirit. I started to cry, and I was like, like I'm safe. I'm home. E-U-T-I-C, one, two, three, E-U-T-I-C. You know, the cheer team was a really big impact on my life. I remember walking into basically an open practice one day, and you know, it's kind of intimidating, but they all were so welcoming and so happy, and they were so excited I was here. Anytime that we would have a rough day, we could always bring it to the practice, and before practice started, we would just circle up and just lay our hearts out, and then after practice, we could hang out and really just rely on each other to build each other up. I definitely think that my opinion of Evangel was, was wrong. I, I did think that this school was full of uh, Bible thumpers, but um, once, once I got here and got comfortable, you really, you really find your, your own group. The people really make it feel like home. The amount of change that God has done in my life is honestly miraculous. I came in here freshman year as a boy of this world, and I will leave here as, as a godly man, for sure. <laughs>